The Eastern Box Turtle, a priority species. The Eastern Box Turtle is North Carolina's state reptile. It is also the only terrestrial turtle found in North Carolina. Box turtles are named for their ability to completely box up inside their shell when they feel threatened. Their top shell, called the carapace, is highly domed and usually very colorful with streaks, blotches, or mottling that can be various shades of yellow, reddish, orange, or brown. The hinge, located on the plastron, or bottom shell, is what allows the turtle to close up tightly inside his shell. Males are usually larger than females and have a more colorful, blocky head. Males usually, but not always, have bright red eyes, while females have brown eyes. Males have a concave indention on the rear lobe of their plastron, and females have little to no indention on their plastron. Box turtles are usually found in or near wooded habitats, often in close proximity to humans. Box turtles are omnivores, so it's not unusual to find them munching on slugs or worms in flower beds, or snacking on grapes from your garden. Sometimes, this close proximity to humans causes problems for box turtles. Habitat loss and fragmentation from development, as well as road mortality, have the biggest impact on box turtle populations throughout their range. North Carolina's Wildlife Action Plan lists the box turtle as a priority species, and their populations are now being closely monitored using a mark recapture study. Volunteers across the state have defined study areas where they regularly search for box turtles. Once a box turtle is found, data is taken on the turtle's sex, weight, length, age, and habitat information. Age is estimated by counting the annuli, or rings, on a single scoop. Each turtle is marked with a unique three-letter code that allows volunteers to identify the turtle if it is found again. The turtle is then returned to the exact location in which it was captured. This study will give biologists an idea of how many turtles are currently found in the state and in subsequent years will help them monitor changes in our box turtle populations. If you are interested in helping biologists gather details on box turtles living in your neighborhood, please consider contributing to the Carolina Herp Atlas. This online database is available to anyone in North Carolina for documenting box turtle sightings with pictures and locality information. For more information on other methods for studying wildlife, contact your local wildlife education center to learn more about the management programs happening here in North Carolina.